boys and girls it's the it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good. Zhongli, Li, we already know how strong he is. Everyone's waiting for his rerun banners. In my opinion, outside of Venti and him, there's no other character that you should really, really, if you're looking for power and, and, and team discipline and team building capabilities, those are the two characters that you're really looking for. And Zhong Li is actually gonna be even better than he is now because we know now of possibly a thing, a future new artifact set, because they add new ones all the time. We know one's coming down the pipeline, possibly, or down the street is. But just imagine, imagine for a minute, a world where you're not locked into Archaic Petra or Noble Sublage. Both very good sets for him, right? Very strong sets for a supportive element burst damage Zhong Li. You have the attack party buff up here, 20% for 12 seconds on your elemental burst, 20% additional elemental burst damage there. You have the ability to run him with an elemental character, like I am in this build with Hu Tao. Making her strong, giving her her shields up there, and then giving her 35% pyro damage bonus. But what if I told you, imagine this set, two piece bonus, probably the worst part of the set, HP 20%, right? For Zhong Li, he can still make use of that, adds damage to his elemental burst, his normal attacks, his E, right? He scales off of HP bigger shields. Then here's the Whopper, four piece bonus. When an elemental skill hits an opponent, the attack of all nearby party members is increased by 20% and their shield strength is increased by 30% for three seconds. This can occur once every 0.5 seconds. And here's the killer. This effect can be triggered even when the character who's wearing this set is not on the battlefield. So you can be in there having your big long dong zhang, just pop this off and put them in the back and have your other characters doing whatever it is that they want to do. And every time this thing pulses and hits somebody, Boom, 20% attack buff. Boom, 30% uh, uh, shield strength buff for your active characters. And if you're playing co-op, all nearby party members. That's that's crazy strong. Also, you know who works well with this too? Boom, Albedo. You want to know why? Because as of right now, yeah, he doesn't give any shields outside of the crystallized shields, but this bad boy procs as well when you hit somebody within the flower there. But the another kicker to this set, unlike the sets we have right now, as of right now, this set stands out even more because you go look at something like the Noblish Oblige set that we talked about right here. This effect cannot stack right now. That is not on this set. That could be changed, but if that stays, you could have multiple characters with skills to hit off the battlefield. Fischl, right? Zhong Li, Albedo, uh, whoever it is that you want, right? Maybe you get a little bit of action here uh, with our good girl, uh, Xing Cho. Oh, Zhang Ling, my bad, not Xing Chou. Sorry, Zhang Ling, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, that's gonna be very powerful there as well. Now, Xing Chou, that kind of split out there because he does not work very well with this set because it's when your elemental skill hits an opponent, not your elemental burst. So, elemental skills we're looking at. So, anyone who's got a, a multi hit elemental skill, especially ones that last a long amount of time, is gonna be very nice for this, especially if you can stack up multiple ones. Will that be changed? Who knows? It's looking kind of crispy. Just imagine that the set is is just that powerful. It's just that good. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be a lot of builds out there that are going to utilize this set because this is the power, basically, of the Noble Supply set, right? 20% attack bonus. They still have that similarity there. This can occur uh, once it per elemental burst, so whatever your cooldown is on the elemental burst. But in addition to that, this has a 12-second cooldown. That one has a 3-second proc rate. This one lasts 3 seconds. And that one has a 0.5 a second cooldown. So you have someone out there like Fischl, Zongli, Albedo. Those are going to be the three key ones I think of right now. And that's incredibly powerful. You know what else is incredibly powerful? Shield strength. Shield strength is huge, especially on Geo shields right now. So Zongli gets a double dip. This set was made for him because his shields are naturally very, very, very strong, right? Geo shields, though get additional efficacy against all damage types. They have 150% absorption rate versus all elements as well as physical damage. Shield strength goes on top of that. That's why the Hutao build that I'm running, you guys have seen before, the Bruiser Hutao build that still does insane amounts of damage with this team, still hitting for 90, 95K crits with their charge attack, very powerful, is super tanky because she's got this giant Zhongli shield on. It absorbs damage better against everything. And we also have shield strength 50%. If we were running with this new set on Zhongli, she'd have 80% shield strength. We're almost doubling his shield. So if he had a 10,000 HP shield, we get up to 100% shield strength. Boom, double that up. It's a 20,000 HP shield. And then it's got 150% bonus absorption rate, which means that it's going to absorb 
30k damage. That's insane. It's an, it's almost your entire HP bar on someone that's kind of tanky and built for HP like Hu Tao. Double up her HP on a shield. So it lets her sit low. This set is going to be amazing. It's going to open up a lot of gameplay builds for a lot of characters, specifically the ones that we named, I think are going to be the three big ones to abuse it with Zhongli, Albedo, as well as this show here. Now the 20% HP, not the greatest thing there, but remember, it's buffing all nearby part of member stack by 20%. So that's going to be kind of like 20% attack for your characters in the back as well. So that's going to be pretty powerful there because Noble Sublige, remember, all party members attack 20%. This affects your whole party for playing solo. That is the same wording as this uh, <clears throat> new set, maybe possibly coming out <laughs> confirmed. I'm not sure, probably in the works sort of thing there. So that's going to be awesome. This set's going to be insanely strong if it's if it's just like this. It's not going to be applicable to every character where you're going to find a character or two if you can stack it and throw them in a party and have nearly 100% uptime on a 40% attack buff for your whole, whole team. So that's going to be very, very strong. You guys should be looking forward to this. And if you're working on maybe saving up for a character, or just starting to build a character, we don't know when this is coming out, if it will ever actually make it to us nearby soon. But you know how, how hard it is to farm up artifacts, how hard it is to farm up uh, different things in the game with resin. If you're farming up one of these characters, think about this set, maybe put them on the back burner and work on someone else. If you're really thinking about someone to use this new set coming out, specifically our boy right here. Song Lee is coming. It's going to be strong. It's going to be strong. Now, what am I going to do with this set right now? You guys already know what I'm doing. So say this set comes out this way. This team right here, definitely going to be wearing two of these sets, right? We're going to have Zhongli and Albedo both in this set. It's going to be amazing. Yes, Hu Tao doesn't have the craziest attack in the world, but it's going to be with, between these two, 100% uptime on this uh, this 40% attack buff. That's going to be insanely strong. And then I can swap Xing Shou to uh, the Noble Sabaj, full four piece. That's going to be another 20% attack. And so Hu Tao, you know, even though she doesn't have the highest basic attack in the game, a uh, very low base attack, uh, it's still going to be like a free, what would it be like? A, like it's probably going to be like a free 400 and something attack there. And the other characters in the party are also going to get those attack buffs as well. Uh, the other thing that you can do with a character like Zhongli with the bonus shield strength is you don't need to build him for like all HP shields, right? If you're already going to absorb 30,000 HP, maybe you don't need to absorb 30K. Maybe you can drop the HP on your build, drop your HP substats, get more crit chance, crit, get more crit damage. And because you have that shield strength increase on his shield from this new set bonus, then you can just build him for pretty much damage and your shields are still going to be insanely powerful. It's just going to be really good between the Geo Resonance for having two Geo characters, this new set, that's already 45% right there in shield strength bonus. Nice flower planting out there. You've been practicing, my dude. Uh, and then on top of that, if you want to wear uh, another set that boosts your uh, shield strength effectiveness, like the Retracing Bolite set, you can get up to 80%. 80% shield strength increase. That makes you a freaking wall, even on a character like Hu Tao, designed to be kind of glass cannony with no real survivability. It's going to make her really good, too. So think about this set for these characters that you're working on. That's what I'm going to be doing there. Zhongli and Albedo, definitely, definitely, definitely in that playbook there. Official also could be someone to just, if you're running official support, nearly have 100% uptime, right? Because Oz is out there doing that damage that counts as the elemental skill as well. Given that 20% attack up to your entire team, including herself, so that is also very nice, guys. So if you guys want to see more Genshin Impact stuff, let me know how you feel about this set down below. It's going to be awesome. In my opinion, it sounds fantastic. And until then, guys, I'll see you. Like that button down there somewhere in the next one. Take care, guys.